Okay, hello everybody. I'm back and I've been braiding my hair since about 9.45 this morning and it's just turned 4 o'clock. So, as you can see, I have gotten most of it done except for just a little bit in the top here. So I wanted to show how I've been doing this for the last very long time. So, um, this is how I am doing this. So, I make my part. You can see here I have a piece parted about this size is what I've been using. And what I do is take a little bit of my aloe vera gel, about that much, and just put it on the hair. Then I just comb out the end just a little bit. Then I I'm about to run out of my Kanekalon hair. Hopefully I can finish before I run out. So I'll have to buy another bag. A whole bag for just a little bit of hair left to do. But, if so, I'll just have to do that. So I take about this much hair. It's kind of a lot though. Usually I have a little bit smaller amount than that. Um, so I take this much hair, fold it in half. I actually cut all of the hair, so I use two packs. If you didn't cut the hair, like I didn't cut one piece. So if you didn't, if you don't cut the hair in half, it'll be all the way down past your back. Um, if you do cut it, it'll just be hanging like this length. Um, so I cut the hair. If you do cut the hair, you probably need three packs. If you don't cut the hair, you probably need six to eight packs. So, that's that. So now, I'm just doing the same technique that was in the video. Folding the hair on top of my hair, like this. So, synthetic hair, my hair close here, twist, and then begin to braid, just like what she um, showed in that video. And to keep it tight, just keep everything tight around your fingers as you're braiding. I'm not the best at doing this. This is my first time. So as you can see, my braids are a little wild. Hopefully if I do, excuse me, hopefully if I do the, um, so this is the braiding technique here. And as you can see, it's not really that close to the scalp, which that's what I like. A lot of people that braid my hair love to put it really close to the scalp. Around the edges here, you can see it's really not that close to the scalp, which is best for me, and they're not coming out either. Um, so I just continue to braid this down until my hair ends, which my hair is pretty short, so this is about to end. When I feel it about to end, I just take a little bit of one piece of hair and donate the rest of it to my hair before it ends. So I can keep braiding or what I call plaiting. So I keep going all the way to the ends. Now for the ends, I started putting rollers at the end, which I will do that. Then I got lazy, so then I just stopped doing that. But I am going to put rollers at the end and do the hot water technique to get it curly at the end. But first I'm going to cut the end so they can all kind of be uniform. 
but not too uniform to where it looks really just put together. I kind of want it to look a little bit natural, or naturally styled anyway. So braided all the way down to the end. So that's how I do that braid. There. And there's the end. Okay, so I have a few left to do. Hopefully I have enough hair to last this little bit. Um, so, I just wanted to show you that technique. And that's pretty much it. So after I do this, I'll come back with the last part of the video and show you how I'm going to do the ends. Okay? And you can see, I'll show you, I had one of the... Um, hair rollers in. It did curl the end a little bit. I think this was it here. But it's kind of gone now. But I do have the hair rollers in some of them and I'll put them in totally after I cut the ends and I'll show you all that in the next video. Okay?